Hi guys, and today, we'll be unboxing a Bootleg Trading Arts Warrior of Light figure. The bootleg has a box. From the looks of it, the figure is too big for the box. And if you turn it, there's no sign that the box is sealed. The print of the box also looks blurry and faded. If you open the box, you'll find the figure sealed in a thin plastic. And if you look closely, you'll see a lot of flaws. The figure's face looks too pale. And if you turn your eyes on the head, you'll notice that the horns are bent. Below that, you'll see a huge mess of blue paint on its hair. On this bootleg, the arms are painted black. But if you see the original, it should be painted blue. The chest also has a few tiny scratches. And if you look closely at the back collar, you can see a yellow paint dust particles above where it's supposed to be. Moving on, the shield has a glue stain. And if you look at the lower robe, you'll see tiny dots on it. The figure also has a sword accessory and a lock on its end. The sword looks poorly detailed, and the lock is very loose. Lastly, the figure has a base, and it was hard attaching the figure to its stand. And after several attempts, I was able to stick the figure to it. The Warrior of Light figure is a fake because of these factors. The packaging is unsealed. The figure and its accessory has a lot of flaws. The packaging and the figure are made from low-quality materials. Official manufacturers ensure that their products are branded and sealed properly. Be more aware about fake anime figures from our blog isitfake.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the next episode.